so hello guys uh, I know I haven't made videos in like a pretty long time now but I've been still playing the game and uh, you know having fun and I've just been having some uh, I don't know other commitments in my life like school and uh, but I've always still been playing Path of Exile um, and I've been uh, I've been speed running um, but I really wanted to make some builds or make some videos um, this league about my builds um, particularly two of them this being the first one it's a pillar of the cage god build um, so it's a really off meta the original reason I wanted to make a pillar of the cage god build was because of double strike and it's flat uh, physical damage against bleeding enemies and it got especially interesting when uh, Herald of Purity uh, got announced so I really wanted to build around it then um, what makes this build especially meme is that it is using Iron Fortress of all uniques and it, it's not as good as a crit chest, a crit elder chest with the percentage strength and stuff, but I haven't been able to craft one myself. Um, the character has a lot of strength, I could have more though, and it's a juggernaut. And uh, that me, I'm stacking accuracy rating and I'm stacking strength to get even more accuracy rating. Which with Oscarm gives me crit chance. So I get attack speed and crit chance from stacking strength. And then I have flat face and everything. And obviously it's an Abyssus build because soft core. Haha. <laughs> so I'm just gonna show real quick in a shaped uh, city square map because that's fun. Um, I'm just using Flickr now to show. Um, I have two six link pillars. The other one has uh, consecrated path in it. And uh, both of them are fun. So, um, the build is pretty fast, and it's actually, I was so surprised that Pillar actually worked out. Obviously this is not the highest tier of map, but uh, when you pop your, you know, broken uh, Val double strike boys, they, you know, they, they just one shot everything. Especially with the um, extra flat, see I don't have that great single target with the flicker, but that doesn't really matter if I can just pop down the Val double strike boys. And uh, yeah, the build isn't really made for Flicker at all. I uh, used this character as a um, fossil farmer. I really enjoyed just farming low uh, delves this league. Like really low delves. Um, with like a tanky character to run outside and stuff. So you see when you pop our dudes, everything just insta dies. Which is it's just really, really enjoyable. So it didn't clear the entire map, but that's, that's good enough. You can show how it looks with the Consecrated Path now and, uh, and the damage. There, now we have a Cycling Consecrated Path instead. Uh, yeah, let's do a tier 12 with the Consecrated Path. Um, yeah, this is one of the two builds that I really enjoyed this league. I actually have been missing uh, making these videos. It's kind of fun just to ramble along while talking. So the problem with the Consecrated Path is that I like attack twice before flickering again because I have so high attack speed because of how much accuracy rating I have. Because of all the um, stacking of accuracy I have and uh, the stacking of strength which gives me accuracy again. So I have like unreasonably high, um, high accuracy rating. And yeah, it's kind of fun having a Iron Fortress build, getting some block in like the, the amount of base strength that item has is like pretty funny. The the, um, the damage on the chest in itself, the strength uh, damage is extra, is really bad. Like it's actually horrible. But the fact that it has that much base strength is what uh, makes the item good. Or usable. <laughs> Not good. I don't know what else to actually add about this, but it's just really fun to uh, play these like really stupid builds. Like, who? When's the last time somebody tried to make a flicker build? You know. As you can see, like we we do have single target damage. It's fine. This is not a broken skill. Do do not worry. It's totally balanced. This game has not like become a power creep game at all. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think we need to add much more. Uh, like, uh, I'm gonna be playing um, a private league with my guild, um, the start of uh, Betrayal. But if I weren't, I would definitely uh, do my league starter as a Pillar of the Cage God build. It's really, really good, and it felt it felt great leveling all the time. So, would recommend. We can look at the skill tree for a bit, I guess, but uh, it's not much very interesting. We have some Might of the Meeks to get some strength. Right? Makes sense. Uh, oh yeah, right, we get uh, we get extra accuracy and crit chance from the Might of the Meek, which is nice. And we get some extra life and just strength. Just, just extra strength. And efficient training, making this int into strength. Just staff crit. Just a terrible jewel. Brawn, of course. Yeah, getting some resistance because uh, <laughs> we need we need that when we have like this type of gear. Alberons. Yeah, so that's the jugger pillar called top of the main pillar. Again, I didn't uh, really <laughs> map with this character. I only delved 